Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make this triangle shawl with beautiful texture. If you're new to my channel, my name is Wilma and I share free crochet patterns on my blog and YouTube channel. If you like this type of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button. This way you will get notifications when I upload new patterns. For this shawl I've used a fingering weight yarn cake. You will also need a clover crochet hook size 4mm, a tassel maker, needle for weaving in the ends, and some stitch markers. All these items are from Clover USA and I will share a link in the description below. We will start with a magic ring and if you don't know how to do this, you can also make 4 chains and slip stitch in the first stitch to close the round. So we start with a magic ring and chain 3, which counts as the first double crochet stitch. Then work 2 double crochet stitch into the ring. Chain 2. And work another 3 double crochet stitches into the ring. Turn your work and we will continue with row 2. In row 2 we will chain 3 and work 2 double crochet stitches into the first stitch. Then we work 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch to the center chain 2 space. Then we work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch into the center chain 2 space. Then work 1 double crochet stitch in each stitch till the end. At the end we will work 3 double crochet stitches into the last stitch. The next row is the exact same as row 2. So go ahead and work double crochet stitches and I will see you at the end. In row 4 we will chain 3. And then we work 4 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. You now have a total of 5 double crochet stitches. Repeat the following to the center chain 2 space. Skip 2 stitches, work 1 single crochet stitch in the next stitch, skip 2 stitches and work 5 double crochet stitches in the next stitch.
Before the center chain 2 space, you will skip the last 2 stitches and then work 1 single crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 single crochet stitch in the center chain 2 space. To make life easier, I highly recommend using stitch markers when you reach the center chain 2 space so you can easily see where the center chain 2 spaces are and when you need to make the special stitches in the corner. And then again you will repeat the following till the end. You will skip 2 stitches, work 5 double crochet stitches in the next stitch. Skip 2 stitches and work 1 single crochet stitch in the next stitch. At the end you will skip 2 stitches and work 5 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Row 5 is the same as row 2 but then worked with front post double crochet stitches. So we chain 3 and then work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Work 1 front post double crochet stitch in each stitch to the center chain 2 space. Here we will work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in the center, chain 2 space. And then again work 1 front post double crochet stitch in each stitch to the end. Finally work 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. In row 6 all you have to do is repeat row 4. In row 7 we will repeat row 5. And finally in row 8 we will repeat row 2. In row 9 we will chain 1 which counts as the first single crochet and then we insert a stitch marker so you will know where to insert the hook on your way back. Then work 2 more single crochet stitches in the first stitch. Then work 1 single crochet stitch in each stitch to the center chain 2 space. Work 1 single crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 single crochet stitch in the center chain 2 space. And again we work one single crochet stitch in each stitch to the end. Work three single crochet stitches in the last stitch. In row 10 it's time for the puff stitches. 
We will start with a chain 3 and work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Then we will repeat the following till the center chain 2 space. We will skip 2 stitches, work 2 puff stitches, chain 1 and 2 puff stitches in the next stitch. So you yarn over, insert the hook and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert hook and pull up another loop. Now yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. Chain 1 to secure the stitch. Chain 1 and work 2 more puff stitches in the same stitch. Then we skip the next 2 stitches and work 1 single crochet stitch in the next stitch. Skip the next 2 stitches and work 2 puff stitches, chain 2, 2 puff stitches in the center chain 2 space. Then we repeat the following till the end of the row. We will skip 2 stitches, work 1 single crochet stitch in the next stitch, skip 2 stitches and work 2 puff stitches, chain 1, 2 puff stitches in the next stitch. I will see you at the end. Skip the next 2 stitches and work 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Row 11 we will chain 3 and work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Then work 1 double crochet stitch in the next 2 double crochet stitches. And work 2 single crochet stitches before the first puff stitch. Chain 3 and repeat the following to the center chain 2 space. Work 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain space between the puff stitches. Chain 3, work 2 single crochet stitches in the next single crochet stitch, and chain 3. In the center chain 2 space you will work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch. Then again repeat the following till the end. 
chain 3 and work 2 single crochet stitches in the next single crochet stitch chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain space between the puff stitches I will see you at the end chain 3 work 2 single crochet stitches after the last puff stitch Work 1 double crochet stitch in the next 2 stitches and work 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Row 12, we will chain 3 and work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Work 1 double crochet stitch in the next 4 double crochet stitches. And work 1 double crochet stitch in the next 2 single crochet stitches. then chain 3 and repeat the following to the center chain 2 space work 1 double crochet stitch chain 3 1 double crochet stitch in the next double crochet stitch chain 3 Work 1 single crochet stitch in the next 2 single crochet stitches and chain 3. In the center of chain 2 space you will work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch. Then repeat the following to the last chain space. Chain 3, work 1 single crochet stitch in the next 2 single crochet stitches. Chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 3, 1 double crochet stitch in the next double crochet stitch. At the end you will chain 3, work 1 double crochet stitch in the next 2 single crochet stitches, 1 double crochet stitch in the next 4 double crochet stitches, and finally 3 double crochet stitches in the last double crochet stitch. And it's time for the puff stitches again. We will chain 3, work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch, work 1 double crochet stitch in the next 7 double crochet stitches. And work 2 double crochet stitches in the next stitch. Then repeat the following to the center chain 2 space. Work 2 single crochet stitches in the next chain space. Work 2 puff stitches, chain 1, 2 puff stitches in the next chain space. So as you can see that's between the 2 double crochet stitches. Finally, work 2 single crochet stitches in the next chain space. Repeat this to the center and I will see you there. 
work two single crochet stitches in the last chain space before the center chain two space then work two puff stitches chain two two puff stitches in the center chain two space Work 2 single crochet stitches in the chain space after the center chain 2 space and then repeat the following to the end. Work 2 single crochet stitches in the next chain space and work 2 puff stitches, chain 1, 2 puff stitches in the next chain space between the 2 double crochet stitches and work 2 single crochet stitches in the next chain space. Work 2 double crochet stitches in the next double crochet stitch, 1 double crochet stitch in the next 7 double crochet stitches. And finally, 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Don't worry, this was the hardest part. The next two rows will be easy and then all you need to do is repeat. So let's continue with row 14 where we will make single crochet stitches. We will chain 3, work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch, 1 double crochet stitch in the next 11 stitches, One single crochet stitch in the next two single crochet stitches. And chain two. Then repeat the following to the center chain two space. Work one single crochet stitch in the next chain space between the puff stitches. Chain two. Skip next single crochet stitch. Work one single crochet stitch in the next two single crochet stitches. And skip next single crochet stitch then chain two and repeat this to the corner here you will work one single crochet stitch chain two one single crochet stitch in the center chain two space repeat the following till the end chain two skip next single crochet stitch one single crochet stitch in the next two stitches and skip next single crochet stitch then chain two and work one single crochet stitch in the next chain space between the puff stitches repeat this to the last chain space and i will see you there chain two work one single crochet stitch in next two single crochet stitches one double crochet stitch in the next 11 stitches And finally, 3 double crochet stitches in the last stitch. In the last row, we will chain 3, work 2 double crochet stitches in the first stitch. And then one double crochet stitch in the next 15 stitches. Repeat the following to the center chain 2 space. Two double crochet stitches in the next chain space. Two double crochet stitches in the single crochet above the puff stitches. And two double crochet stitches in the next chain space. Repeat 
work two double crochet stitches in the last chain space before the corner and work one double crochet stitch, chain two, one double crochet stitch in the center chain two space. Then work two double crochet stitches in the next chain space and repeat the following to the end. Two double crochet stitches in the next chain space. Two double crochet stitches in the single crochet stitch above the past stitch. And two double crochet stitches in the next chain space. Repeat to the last chain space and I will see you there. Work one double crochet stitch in the next 15 stitches and end with three double crochet stitches in the last stitch. So that's it. All you need to do now is repeat row 4 till 15 and I will quickly show you an overview of the amount of stitches you should have at the end of each row. You can find more info and pictures on my website so I highly recommend checking out the link in the description below. So go ahead and I will see you at the end when we are going to make the tassels. For the tassels I've used a clover tassel maker. The method I'm using here is a bit different than you might have seen in other tutorials, but that's because I want to make a big tassel with a small tassel maker. So here's how to do it. Wrap the yarn around the tassel maker for about 55 times. Then cut two more strands which we are going to use to tie the knots. Make a tight knot on top of the tassel. And cut open the bottom. Remove the tassel from the tassel maker and tie a strand around the tassel about 1 cm from the top knot. Trim the bottom and now you can attach the tassel to a shawl end. And that's it! Don't forget to weave in the ends and your beautiful shawl is done! It was quite a long tutorial and I hope it was useful for you. If you like this pattern, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which yarn and colors you are going to use. Hope to see you next time! Bye!